Go on, off you go. Okay, let's test the valve on the Avo Mark IV. Looking at the top, there's some some uh, residual dents from time, some tiny scratches. Opening up, all original. Very good condition, some minor scuffs and scratches you'd expect over time. The front control panel is in very good condition. The meter in particular is really, really nice. Switch the mains on now. And see the needle centering and setting the fine to keep the needle into the red wavy line. That's it. Okay, we'll set up the test of EL84 now. We've set the rollers to 041 230 605 EL84. Let's plug it in, plug in the valve and see how it's going. First check leakage. No leaks. This is this checks the valve hot. So we've run, run through the same checks. All okay. Next position. Heater cathode. Any shorts? No. Next we'll do a test. Let's uh, let stop now for a minute. Okay, all other settings correct now. Just run through and double check. Negative grid volts 7.5. Anode volts 250. Screen volts 250. Heater volts 6.3. And the backing offs on zero. Anode switch to A1. We're ready to test. Uh, correction. Meter switch on 100 milliamps. Okay, we're ready to test. Let's switch to test now. And we can see valves warming up now. It's around 30 milliamps. Sort of average for a very old mallard valve. We can get a shot of it. Right, we'll start on the GM setup now. Set to 11.5, that's 8 to 60 scale. 10, 11.5. Okay, now we we'll go to backing offs. Bring it. Are you down here? Here, that's it. Bring the fine down a little first. Bring the course down, zero, reduce the amp, reduce the meter readings, 2.5, use the fine to set zero, set zero, here we go, switch to GM, and get the reading, which is medium to good. That's pretty fair for an old Mullard valve. Okay, right side. Minor scuffs from time, but pretty good condition. Rear. Almost untouched. Serial number 307. Left side, pretty much untouched. Minor scuffs on the feet. A 
game in the film. Copies of service manual, copies of instructions, operating instructions, but they are copies, they're not originals. And all the valve data is on CD. So you can print off your own or just consult the valve data on your computer. Okay.